Hi, doctor. Could you please let us know all about lobular carcinoma of breast? Lobular carcinomas of breast arise from the milk producing glands of the breast. These are less common than the ductal carcinomas which arise in the ducts which convey the milk from the gland to the nipple. So lobular carcinomas tend to come to us only with the lump. This is because the conventional mammography and the ultrasound which we do fail to pick up the lobular carcinomas very commonly. This is because of the nature of the disease itself. So usually patients tend to come to us only when a lump is formed. Remember the intention of doing mammography is to detect it before a lump is formed. Now what is peculiar about this lobular carcinoma is it can be multicentric means you know even within the breast it can have multiple centers it need not be only in one place and also there is a risk of opposite breast having the same cancer in about 10 percent of the people so these are very very aggressive and multicentric cancers so these types of cancers also can run in families we do do a test called e cadarin test for this to check whether the people are susceptible to this type of cancer. So in lobular carcinoma, we generally don't tend to offer a breast conservation surgery. We want to use the mastectomy approach here, especially because of their multicentricity. So generally, very often this happens that, you know, patient with a smaller lump, which is felt come to me with uh, lobular carcinoma. I would suggest not to go for a breast conservation surgery even though it looks possible. So these are some of the common differences which common man should know when they get a diagnosis of lobular carcinoma.